So another troubling story. We're also looking into a report that a child was mauled by dogs in his foster home. A lawsuit claims the state knew he was afraid of animals and placed him with a family that rescued Doberman Pinschers. Our Cor Harlan is digging deeper. Cor? Well, Jennifer and Dan, the attorney representing the 10 year old, told me this afternoon that DHS ignored advice of its own counselor who told superiors at DHS the 10 year old should not be placed in a home with dogs, but the child was put there anyway. Hillsborough attorney Matthew Kehoe tells me that DHS knew the 10 year old foster child had an aversion to animals and should never have been placed in the Gresham home of Lillian Yoon. I went to Yoon's home. She didn't answer the door, but you can hear the dogs barking, lots of them inside. The complaint says DHS knew or should have known not to place the child, or DR as he's referred to, with a foster family who owned pets, especially dogs, let alone with Lillian Yoon, who operated a Doberman rescue program out of her home. The complaint says on more than one occasion between February and July of last year, the foster child with an aversion to animals was bitten by one of the Dobermans in Yoon's care. The complaint says the child has suffered permanent facial scarring that required hospitalization and that the dog bites caused emotional injury, trauma, nightmares, and sleep disruption. I went to DHS for answers. The agency says it cannot specifically address the complaint, and right now it's in the process of writing a response to my questions about this case, and I'll show you what they say just as soon as I get a response. Just check my email as well. Still waiting for that DHS response to this. The complaint filed Friday seeks $1.8 million in connection to two related complaints. Dan